No footpath. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a long, straight street with no footpath. On one side of the street, there was a grass border, but on the other side of the street, there was no grass border. Near the end of the street, there was a quaint little house. Inside the house, there was a great big grandfather clock, and in the clock lived a queer old parrot named Turkey. Of course, Turkey didn't own the house. It belonged to Mr. Jinx. Mrs. Jinx. And their son, Johnny. Then there was Flower, the family friend. She grew in the garden outside the Jinx window. Poor Mrs. Jinx used to worry when Johnny was going the messages because there was no footpath in the street and she was afraid he'd get run over. Now there's a terrible worry is. But Perky the parrot was a great help. He always gave Mrs. Jinx such very good advice, and he used to call the family every morning when it was time to get up. Good morning, Flower. Good morning, Perky. I'm late. It's getting late. Don't be so noisy, Perky. Rot. Rot. I'm late. It's getting late. What are you going to drink? Come on, have a cup of tea. Chinaman shop and give me a big green curly cabbage. But do be careful. It's so dangerous because there's no footpath to walk on. What's the golden rule, Perky? If there isn't a footpath, walk on the right. Then you'll see cars coming and you won't get a fright. Wonderful. Remember, Johnny? Yes, Mum. There isn't a foot path walk on the right. Then you'll see cars coming and you won't get a fright. Great! Remember the golden rule and you'll be safe. That's good. Very good. I'm off the ball. I woke up the street with you, Johnny. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. 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 Now, Johnny, remember, there's no footpath, so we must walk on the right. But there is a grass border on this side of the street, so we'll walk on that, and we'll be safer still. <laughs> Not found way. Remember the golden rule? Yes, Dad. If there isn't a foot path, walk on the right. Then you'll see cars coming and you won't get a fight. And if there's a grass border on the right side, walk on that. It's safer still. Don't forget, Johnny. I won't, Dad. There's the Chinaman shop. Come on, Dad. That car nearly hit you. Never cross the road close to a parked car. It blocks your view, and you can't see what's coming on the road. You must wait till the car moves off. Then do your curb before you cross. Remember that? Yes, Dad. <laughs> Bye, 
Johnny. Now look after yourself on the way home. I'll be all right, Dad. Good morning, Mr. Plum Plum. Good day, Johnny. What can I do for you today? Please, Mr. Plum Plum. I just want a big green curly cabbage. All right. Here is a big green curly cabbage. Ten cents. Starting for home, Johnny first stops to think what he has to do. And on the right hand side of the road, facing the track, that is no bus for on this side, so I must walk on the edge of the road. Johnny remembers the rules for safety on a straight road with no footpath. Walking on the right, facing the traffic, there's no danger because he can see cars coming and they can see him. Johnny wants to cross the road here. But there's a car park, and this car won't move off. So he goes up the street a little way so he can see the road clearly. And before he crosses, he looks right, left, and right again. There's no traffic coming, so over he goes. Here's your curly cabbage, Mum. Johnny got him safely because he remembered the golden rule. Let's all say the golden rule. 